Hi guys, welcome back to this lesson on rate of dissolving. If you had listened to the last lesson, I said I'm going to do this topic. So I had put in a big introduction in the final slide of that lesson. So I'm not going to do too much intro because I believe you are just coming straight from there. We can go straight into rate of dissolving, what it means. Of course, previously we learned what is Yeah, without this, you cannot know what is rate of dissolution. Solubility is the amount of solute that's able to dissolve in a given what volume of solvent at a given temperature. A lot of the cases, whenever you're asked to define, you need to have all these words in there. Okay, so that's the amount. So I'm going to highlight that. That's it. This one, rate of dissolving, the measure of how fast. Now, this is the key difference to today's lesson, how fast the substance dissolves in a solvent. So you can have solvents and you can have solutes that dissolve but this dissolves in five minutes. This dissolves in 10 minutes. And this dissolves in one minute. So what did I do to make it dissolve in one minute? See, it dissolves so fast, I can't even see it anymore. So the time factor is, can be improved by three factors that affect the rate of dissolving. I have also discussed this in the last lesson, left you at that so that you will know what we're going to cover today. Temperature. You increase the temperature higher, maybe your solute will dissolve faster. Yes. Pick up this keyword. I keep saying faster, not more. Faster. Surface area of the solute usually. Okay, so this is important because same amount, same amount, same amount, but the Same thing, salt, but if you put salt or even it can be sugar, if sugar pieces are so much bigger in surface area, imagine how long it will take to dissolve. If they are smaller, it will be faster. It looks like real common sense, so that's why it's going to be easy to understand this. Temperature as well, if you increase the temperature to a, you heat it up, you're going to have a better rate of dissolving. And lastly, you can stir so this is a stirrer you put it in and stir it also you can increase the rate of dissolving okay so let's look at it closer temperature most solids dissolve faster at higher temperatures of course quite commonsensical surface area small pieces of solid dissolve faster than large pieces because small pieces have a larger surface area in contact with the solvent please please need to say this if people ask you or in the question they ask you why did what did they ask you like this okay why did a did take a longer time than b to dissolve okay of course i'm not taking out the green stirrer and the heat just talking about the size of the particle then we say because small pieces of solid dis dissolve faster than large pieces because the small pieces have a larger surface area in contact with the solvent. What does that mean? Okay, let's see sol this as small and this is big. So, surface area is how much they touch the solvent. This part touches the solvent, this part touches the solvent, this part touches the solvent. Right? So I'm going to do it in yellow. So this is the surface area, this part touches, this part. If you add up all this, and then you add up all this, the amount of surface area is much, much more. So they come into contact. So the solvent can actually act on these areas and start dissolving them. Here it can only reach the, here, it doesn't reach inside here. So that's why it cannot dissolve any 
matter that is inside here but can start dissolving here then it's too slow by the time it reaches here it's too slow whereas by breaking them up it already can reach the smaller particles or the smaller areas of the solid itself so you can see visu visually why it is so stirring of course you are giving the a chance for the solvent to act on the solute again giving a chance for it to be in contact so the more it contact 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 it will dissolve the solute so solutes dissolve faster when the solution is stirred because more contact is achieved